Welcome back to another episode of the Short Sided Podcast, which I guess we haven't done in about a million billion years because Jakey has gone lazy. That's right. But today we're having a chat with a wonderful Austrian dude who went from minus 4.5 doctors to not needing glasses most of the time. He still has a pair of around one adopter glasses that he uses for nighttime driving. So for all of you who says who say this doesn't work unless you don't need glasses ever for anything, there you go. But minus 4.5 adopters to generally, for most of life, not needing glasses at all. Kind of a hero because he started eight years ago when Enmiopia was still young and pretty, as was my face, before I got all old. So he's been with this a long freaking time. It took him forever to figure out active focus. So there's an interesting tidbit in here we never stop learning he had some particular tricks to help him find active focus so we kept this one short it's not a crazy long conversation and i did this for you even though everything i do for you just gets pointed at and laughed at fine i'm joking enjoy this episode here we go uh, i started about eight years ago and the, the optus were about 4.5 nice how did you find this whole show uh, just randomly looking in, in the internet, um, uh, of course, uh, I al already uh, uh, read a lot of uh, uh, eyesight stuff from different, you know, Bates methods uh, guys, but uh, the end me up, uh, um, um, uh, how do you say, it? the end me up approach was the first, which was really um, made, made sense, made sense. My so awesome beard. There's no video on this episode, so we can just claim that I have an awesome beard. Johannes has an awesome beard. You do. <laughs> Where are you at with currently? You're not wearing anything as we're talking. What's your diopter requirement now? Uh, now it's about one diopter, I would say. Hmm. I haven't no. measured it uh, officially, but it's about one diopter. If I get um, eye strain, it's a little bit less. And uh, also I, I get a lot of clear flashes, flashes, so it's sometimes also better than one diopter. Nice. Well, how much do you use glasses now? I, I, for normalized, I use 0, um, 0 0.75. Mm -hmm. And uh, that works really well. And but uh, do you wear them all the time or most of the time? Uh, or some? Uh, almost never wear them. Almost never wear them. Listen to this, peoples. Almost never. Minus four point five. That was a. That's a pretty dramatic, overall gradual, right? But still a dramatic lifestyle change from when you were stuck behind that stuff. Glasses or contact lenses? Um, now I'm, I'm using just the glasses, uh, 0 0.75. I used to wear uh, contact lenses a lot or most of the time when I had uh, higher diopters, but uh, now it's only glasses. Nice. And what, what prompted the journey? Like what, cause so you, the short version, like how did you end up with the minus 4.5 and then what made you look for, uh, ways out of it? Yeah, it was the standard progress. I got glasses when, when I was about 10 years old. Uh, the diopters increased uh, up up to when I was uh, 25, and that's where I found end myopia. And yeah, nothing special, just getting a little bit higher numbers, and and uh, felt uh, uncomfortable uncomfortable wearing them. And also had a lot of eye strain almost always, and this really uh, was not a good situation. So I was looking for some solutions, and of course the optometrists don't give you any solutions they just give give you diopters so no uh, i was looking don't, for myself <laughs> don't say that they're extremely helpful <laughs> uh, work wise you you spend a lot of time in front of screens yes i do uh have a standard uh um uh computer job uh now i work about eight hours a day at the computer but i do uh, a lot of phone calls and also get breaks so now that works really well. So um, after work, of course, I'm tired, but I don't have eye strain. Being that you're from Austria, you kind of have a, a little tiny bit of an Arnold Schwarzenegger accent. Not a lot, not enough to be like totally awesome, but I like it. It would be yeah. great for like testimonials, you know what I mean? Like different accents, yeah. Not nice. Um, how was it difficult? Was it easy? Were there particular stumbling blocks? Did you get hung up somewhere? How was the process in general? 
Uh, absolutely, yes. Uh, at first, I, uh, it took about a few weeks to get the first ciliary uh, spasm release. Uh, I got it when I tried to look near and far, and um, after a few weeks, I got the first release. And then I thought, yeah, everything is clear now, and it's get, it's, it will get better. But it took me several years afterwards to um, really get... Uh, the real active fo focus, I would say. I could clear it up before, after the first ciliary, ciliary, ciliary release, but it was not, not the real thing, I would say. Just after a few years, um, I experience, uh, experience, uh, experienced the real, uh, uh, or, or how to do it correctly, I would say, the active focus. And uh, that's when uh, I, I, my vision or my quality really improved a lot. Hm. And, should, um, should we, sollen wir es auf Deutsch besprechen, wie du den wirklichen Active Focus gefunden hast? Nur um das, uh, nee, das no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Können wir gerne auch machen, ja. Since we both speak German, to those who don't, which is, that was a mean joke. Um, what did you, so, now, how did you persist that long without having real Active Focus and how did you find it and how was it different? Hm. Uh, I persisted because I knew uh, it, ha it has to work and it worked already because I got the first release and also I proved a little bit um, and I knew it, it should be it should work and um, I just kept looking and trying and um, the, the missing thing for me was the peripheral vision. Mm. Uh, only after I uh, pay, was paying attention to peripheral vision, I got uh, clear flashes and, and the active focus got easier. And I didn't do it before. I don't know why. I think I tried it several times. It did not work. But then somehow I tried again and again. And it did work. Um, yeah, it was just trying and reading a lot, watching your videos, reading everything uh, that is out there and just trying, trying. Then suddenly it happened. Um, Any yeah, particular? Nothing special, just trying. Do you remember anything in particular about the peripheral vision part of it like was it up close was it distance what would you if you had to send a message back in time to the you that didn't find it yet how would you describe finding yeah. it mm -hmm. um, if you're looking at distance and it's blurry you just keep looking moving a little bit and uh, not just focusing on the point where you're looking but also on the peripheral peripheral vision and just doing that for several minutes, sometimes 10 minutes, and do it every day over and over. And then uh, sometimes you just get a clear flash, and uh, that's about the, yeah, that's about all. <laughs> yeah. How did you like my sending messages back in time? Uh, that's been really helpful, and it, it, I think uh, it, uh, it, matches the, it matches the accent, is what I'm saying. <laughs> No, okay, I'm going to stop it. So the, the, the inside joke is that I grew up in Bavaria in a small town in bicycle distance from the border. So I spent a lot of time bicycling across the border and being in Johannes home world in Austria, right? So uh -huh. a, yeah, there's a, there's a funny rivalry between the Bavarians and the Austrians. So I guess it's it's Passau, or can I say that? Yeah, das kannst du sagen. Irgendwie kommen sie dann eh noch drauf. Um, yes. And so did it, did your rate of improvement change after you figured out Active Focus, or was it consistent before and after? Uh, it changed a lot. Uh, as I said before, um, about eight years ago, uh, about eight years ago when I got the first ciliary, release um it was about one diopter reduction and then the progress was really really slow and then after the second uh, so to speak uh, ciliary release um when i paid attention to the, to the peripheral vision uh, it's it's it seems to be much faster hmm. nice how did you persist how did you stick with it to for so long um yeah um uh, uh uh, I knew, I, or, but or I, I still know that uh, uh, you should improve, or you you are able to improve. And uh, I thought I just have to look for uh, for solutions and how how to do it. Uh, it was not a question if it was possible, just um, how. Dear and that you that's, tell them. Yeah. You tell them. I have to deal with these naysayers and doubters all the time. You know, like. 
there was just a thread in the forum the other day of how all this is impossible. I'm like, it is not impossible. No. And that also helped because I've not been doing podcasts in a while because I've gotten lazy. And I'm so glad we had that email exchange. I'm like, you honestly yeah, let's talk um, about it. Because you went from all the time lens where to now you're free of those things. Do you ever do you ever have moments where you feel like you forgot your glasses somewhere? Um, Get those. I like I'm in a coffee shop and I walk out. I spend too much time in there and my vision's blurry, right? Because I spent too much time staring at a screen. I'm like, crap, I forgot my glasses. It's been so many years and I still get these phantom limb moments. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I, I almost always have them with me. So, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah just yeah. in case. <laughs> just in case. Must be any lifestyle changes because of not needing glasses. Does it affect your day to day life in any way? Um, um, not really. Um, of course, it's much uh, easier, everything without glasses, thinking about them. And uh, also the quality of life without glasses, without contact lenses is, of course, much better. Yeah, so, especially, um, especially yeah. how it rains all the time and you don't have to. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> and wearing a mask, <laughs> a COVID mask. Yes, do wear those, right? Because they will save you. <laughs> You guys can't see, but Johannes has a way more awesome beard than I do. It's too bad we're not doing it with video because it would be at least one of us lives up to the promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else noteworthy? Like that just sounds right. Like it sounds that's a long time, by the way, too, dude, seven years ago. I probably looked mm -hmm. so much younger then. Uh, eight years ago, yeah. yeah, that's a long freaking time. I've been doing this for too long. Yeah, no, um, yeah, I would say everything, every information you need for improvement is out there for free. Um, and all you have to do is try and stick to it. And uh, eventually you will find your way. There's nothing special enough, nothing. Um, it's not a miracle. It's just. Uh, yes, it is. Right. <laughs> Very special. It is a miracle. <laughs> stick to the script, man. <laughs> it's a miracle. No. Um, what else? I'm curious, has stuff changed since eight years ago? I mean, as far as amyopia is concerned, do you feel it's the same? Is it different? Is it better? Is it worse? Has my jadedness gone too far in the whole thing? You and the amyopia community? Yeah, the whole, just in general, because you, you've you seen it since so long ago. I was a total amateur back then. Um, I, I have to admit, I do not follow uh, you anymore that much. Um, <laughs> But back then, uh, I really liked the videos. I also like your sarcasm. It's very funny. <laughs> um, and I watched uh, all of you, all of your videos back then, and oh uh, some of them many, many times to really get get what you have to tell tell us. I'm sorry, uh, that sucks. Yeah, no, <laughs> dude, I can't watch those things once because you know what I mean. I imagine that I look way more handsome and way more composed, and then I see one of those videos, and I'm like, oh my god, it's terrifying. <laughs> but i'm glad dude it's it's number one i think it's super cool that you stuck with it number two i think we can i guess we can still improve on the active focus story i'll add this i don't mention peripheral vision enough for sure mm -hmm. like there's definitely not enough emphasis on it it's amazing that you stuck with it that long um and it is pretty cool that you're out of that whole glasses thing almost right like you're mm -hmm. still I'm guessing probably like nighttime and driving. When when do you wear glasses in general? Yeah, when I'm driving and night for night run, night time driving, I wear about one diopter more. Yeah, kind of fun, right? When you just pop those on and you get like extra super clear vision. Yes, yes. <laughs> How long have you been at the less than one diopter or one diopter range now? Um, yeah, I would say. If, um for the last year or half a year something like that and then one when was a reduction last reduction before then um i'm very um still wearing the 0 0.75 normalized and they wear them um already one year i think yeah i, I do not reduce any i do not reduce further uh, yeah. because either i wear this uh, 0 0.75 or nothing uh, maybe I will reduce the night uh, time driving classes, but uh, I still keep them at 1.75 at the yeah. moment. That's 
How long can you wear those before you start to feel like that's a lot? Um, yeah, uh, for me, actually, when I wear glasses, I don't like wearing glasses. I never liked it. And whenever I wear them, I feel uncomfortable after a few hours. So yeah, that's I really lot. like not wearing them. It is. I remember, like, I was in that last diopter range, and I loved his motorbikes because I don't drive cars that much, but I keep a pair of glasses in my motorbike, and it's just, you know, I'd see fine at night, but you pop those on, and it's like you go into superhero mode. Like, your vision yeah. is just, like, it's ridiculously clear. But for me, it'd be 20, 30 minutes, and I'd kind of start getting a bit of a headache. Like, it, it was clearly an overcorrection, and I could only use that juiced up version of my eyesight for a limited period of time but mm -hmm. it was amazing i'm telling you this if you reduce it a bit right like it's still it's going to be better for active focus as long as you're safe like not going too low but enjoy it while you can because at some random point it'll stop working mm -hmm. you'll have like minus ones and you'll love them but just as much as the minus 1.75 and then at some point like I remember for me is this one night I popped them on expecting that super buzz and nothing happened. Yeah, like it was yeah. just the same. And then it was over and <laughs> it kind of sucked, right? Because I, you, you get to count on that, that extra clarity is almost like an adrenaline rush. Like uh, you just have this super awareness and yeah. like, I've, I'm just saying, enjoying it, enjoy it while you can do it because at some point yeah. it just, no longer works and then yeah i understand yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you're done then you're over it what else what else interesting things pop in your mind that you'd want people to know about on this journey mm -hmm. um yeah um <clears throat> yeah as i said uh you, you said it's very special yes it is but i i don't think it's uh yeah you, you have to know something special it's it's everything out there just uh yeah stick to it and and try try again and again if it doesn't work um yeah it will work if you try uh often enough i think and yeah. stick to it when was it do you remember when was it that you stopped needing differentials um well um i stopped using differentials uh at about when i was about uh, at three diopters i i i i worked uh, really close at the screen i would say at this time <laughs> not great that's not so, something i recommend but good yeah All right. no it's i did a lot of uh, wrong things i know that and uh, but um, yeah i i really hated glasses ever since as i said so i didn't really want to use differentials so yeah nice wow that worked out cool <laughs> man i appreciate it thanks so much for being on sharing this i added to the pile of people need to hear this from lots of people to realize that it's possible so it's super awesome of you to take the time to share and that's the other thing i get keep people keep bugging me about and i absolutely forget about it remind me when you're totally done with glasses so we can have a tiny mm -hmm. follow-up so yes of course yeah. so we can get rid of the people who are like but 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 he still has glasses <laughs> yeah awesome. also, uh yeah, also, th thank you for my side for, for letting me participate here. And thank you for all the work you've done for the end myopia people. It's really, really helpful. And uh, I think in many years in the future, you will be remembered as the eye guru, really. So. All right. How was that? It was not too long. That was full of dramatically awesome insights. We kept it in English, even though before we started, I threatened to just do it all in German for all of you. You know it's all love so i hope you enjoyed this we'll do more maybe we'll do more let me know if you want to be on the podcast i'll put you on the schedule if there's an interesting story to going on and that's it meow, 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 meow. Meow.